Good afternoon again. My name is Brad Mayer and this is Kevin Walsh and together we're representing the University of Pittsburgh's chapter of Phi Beta Lambda. We're excited to be here today to talk to you about the new development that we're proposing and we hope that uh, you'll like some of our suggestions. So as our city grows and continues to develop, it's imperative that we support and foster that growth even through tough economic times. In order for an economy to rebound, local government must intervene, find projects that are worthwhile, and ensure a positive return back to our communities. We feel that a new basketball arena or um, entertainment arena in our city is the perfect project that will ignite the fire that we need to experience high growth once again. Not only will this arena be home to an NBA basketball team, but it also has endless opportunities. We can have um, performances, local concerts, national concert tours, comedy shows, um, just about anything you can think of that will kind of spur this type of economic growth. Um, we want to place the arena in a low income area, um, kind of in a neighborhood that's kind of been down and out for a few years, um, a place that we haven't seen much potential with in a while, and we kind of want to have a chance to revitalize that area. So um, <clears throat> the neighborhood we will choose, so we'll not only inc include this new uh, arena, which will be kind of a, a campus, it will include parks, green space, kind of this, a beautiful jewel of the neighborhood. It's also going to include retail spaces, restaurants, apartment complexes, business offices, so giving it an entire community that will evolve around the arena. Um, it'll drive new young professionals in, give people kind of a chance to work, play, and just have fun and enjoy um, everything kind of in one centralized community. So we're excited about this opportunity, and Kevin's going to tell you a little bit more about our project. Um, the first thing I want to talk about was corporate sponsorships and financing the arena. Um, there are a few ways to do this with an arena, and um, the first is the biggest, and it's the name that's on um, the, the front of the store, the arena. Um, you see examples of this all over, like PNC Park, there's a lot of banks that do this. Um, PNC, City Field, TD North Bank, um, these companies invest the money into these arenas in order to get the brand awareness that it gives them. Um, the second thing is inside advertisements. If you go to any um, sports game or concert like that, you look around the walls, what do you see? You see a lot of businesses. Business names scrolling around the um, whole walls, or you just see them on the ice, on the court, they're everywhere. And they'll pay a good premium for this, for this advertising spots because where are people looking? They're looking at the game. Um, the second thing I want to talk about was why, even though there's a bad economic time right now, there's a reason to build this stadium now. Um, in order to reach better economic times, there has to be a spark in development that will develop the rest of the area. Um, this development will lead to a better stable economy over time. I'd like to pass it back to Brad. Okay, so we hope that you um, enjoyed our talking points and saw that these are different things that we can bring to the local government, kind of explain why it's not only about a basketball team, it's about the, the community as a whole, redeveloping neighborhoods like these, and even though it's a tough economy, people are struggling to pay their bills, uh, feed their families, it's just sitting here and kind of not fostering any growth, it's really not gonna help that situation in our city. So we wanna make this, help redevelop this into a world-class city, um, have all of these opportunities for retail, restaurants, um, areas to work and play. And then we think all of these talking points, um, the people in our communities, our constituents, the taxpayers will really see these benefits. Uh, we'll hope they'll agree with us and we hope that if we do give them the opportunity to vote in November, um, that they will see things our way and be excited about this new development um, in the way that it's going to positively impact our community. So if you have any questions for us, we'd be happy to answer them.